And here we have yet another Linux distribution that uses the Enlightenment uh, user interface. Lots of eye candy, low system resources uh, required for this. We're looking at OpenGEU right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. To the grind and this time uh, we've got another enlightenment desktop and uh, let's have a look at this open GEU okay and uh, this has been out for a while I assume this is going to be another one that will have another release once uh, another uh, LTS is released from Ubuntu this is an Ubuntu flavor here and uh, as you can see here we've got a nice little panel and uh, from here you can access all of your desktops has a lot of cool little effects on this thing too alright and then you also have a nice little uh, launcher right down here which is kinda cool as well uh, let's have a look and see uh, what kind of applications we get with this uh, you get catfish for file search open GEU theme switcher let me show you this this is kinda cool now, uh, all you just do is just click on Open GEU Themes. Okay, and you get two choices when you first install this. You can go with Moonlight or the Sunshine. We're looking at Sunshine now. Let's go ahead with Moonlight. We'll apply that. And you get a nice dark theme. All right, and we'll select done here, and we'll close it. You can see all kinds of cool little effects and icons dancing and that sort of thing on the panel here. Kind of cool. Also, you have some indicators here as well. Very nice. I like how this looks. You can access preferences here. And, of course, your network is right down here. All right, and let's see what else we got. You get the Brazero disk burning application you get Firefox Claws Mail Pigeon Internet Rhythm Box Music Player uh, you get G Edit Text Editor GIMP Terminal Thunar File Manager the Synaptic Package Manager and then of course you can select the OpenGEU default configuration and applications for accessories bulk rename really cool I actually have this extension installed in my uh, GNOME interface it's great if you have a bunch of uh, files that you want to rename all at once you get a calculator I already mentioned catfish disk usage analyzer e-tray e-tray configuration password and encryption keys take screenshot terminal text editor through our fire manager tracker search tool and you splash switcher in games yeah, get a ton of them. Mile Rot Solitaire, Blackjack, Chess, 3D, uh, five or more, four in a row, Free Cell Solitaire, Gnome Triss, Lagno, Klotsky, Mahjong, Mines, Nibbles, Robots, Same Gnome, Sudoku, Tally, and Tetravex. A lot of stuff for a 700 meg download. All right, you get GIMP. You get Mirage, I use that myself, very nice, and the Xsane Image Scanner. In Internet, you get Claws Mail, Firefox, Pigeon, Pi Neighborhood, Remove Desktop Viewer, and Transmission BitTorrent Client. Sound and Video, you get Audacious Audio Player, Audio CD Extractor, AVI DMUX, good program, a Brazero Disk Burner, Hydrogen Drum Machine, so if you like tapping out some beats this is a cool tool to play with uh, Joxer audio editor Kino video editor get open shot it's better rhythm box music player sound recorder and stream tuner in office you get Abbey word dictionary and GNU metric 
download uh, LibreOffice or OpenOffice.org if you need that. In System Tools, you get About Myself. You really don't want to know. Add or Remove, Packages, uh, Disk Management, GNOME Key Daemon, GNOME Power Manager, GNOME Settings, Network Manager, OpenGEU Composite Startup, Password, Pi Neighborhood, Update Notifier, X Screen Saver Setup. And in Universal Access, you get the Orca Screen Reader and Magnifier. Interestingly enough, I've seen a video on YouTube where they had Compiz effects and everything also on this thing. So you can get the desktop cube and all that other fun stuff included with this. But this already has some really great special effects already built in. And you don't even have to have a graphics card. This does it automatically. Very nice stuff here. Okay, and then in uh, OpenGEU, you got the documentation and preferences there. Places, a nice quick way to get to all your places. You can issue a command here. You can uh, set the number of desktops that you want. You can also do shelves. That is this down here. You can also right click and you can set preferences on your shelf. For instance, you can go into shelf settings here. I like tiny, I like small spaces select OK on that and you can see it shrank it down to a nice small manageable size very nice indeed okay and then of course you have enlightenment options here you can clean up windows lost windows you have all your settings here with which to go ahead and change things all in all a nice lightweight system it doesn't have heavy system requirements. It has a lot of eye candy. You can even go online and download a lot of themes for this. So if you want something easy to work with, this would be a good distribution to play with. If you thought this was useful, please hit like and subscribe. Also catch me on Facebook and Twitter. Go on my blog and shout me a cup of coffee. I need more coffee grounds. That's it. That's it. It keeps me crazy. All right, and um, I've got a bunch of stuff that I'm doing. I'm on a roll today, so we're going to keep these videos cranking today. All right, well, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.